<laughs> if I have to hear that song one more time, I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. Welcome to another episode of The Movie Night. Uh, today we're going to be talking about 2018's Venom, um, starring Tom... Ha I have the cast right here. Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock, Michelle Williams as Annie Wang, and uh, Riz Ahmed as Carlton Drake. Hey, Riz Ahmed. He's a Pakistani. I'm a Pakistani. It's like we're full circle, you know? Uh, I don't know what that means, but... Um, the first time I watched this movie, I was very underwhelmed. Uh, I was going through shit. I was pretty depressed during that time. So I left the theater like, oh, this is a fucking bullshit movie. And there's a bunch of normies around me. So when the Eminem and all like... Okay, first off, the, the licensed music is so bad. Like, so... It's just, you know, top one, top ten auto-tune rap bullshit. And whenever it'd come on, someone would like, hey, it's like the worst possible music you could ever imagine and then hearing the people next to me like jump and sing along and dance was like fucking what movie are we watching but uh basically it's about uh eddie brock who is a competent reporter apparently he's like the uh you know the uh liberal alex jones <laughs> if you'd say like he does these uh, exposés on like you know fraudulent companies or deaths in the Middle East like kind of like that you know like sketchy stuff he brings to light so uh, he has this mission to talk to Carlton Drake oh first off I want to say uh, the opening scene when the uh, plane goes down I didn't notice this but the um, he was like is Jameson still alive I was like Jameson I mean, like Jonah Jameson's son, who's also an astronaut, who's in the flight, and I, I didn't realize that, but I connected the two dots, so that was pretty uh, smart on their part. You know, they're basically looking for the symbiote, it was like three, four symbiotes, uh, plane crashes, all the symbiotes, one of the symbiotes is let free, a few are um, captured by this guy named Colton, Colton Drake, Carlton Drake, uh, played by Riz Ahmed, and um, it was pretty interesting, you know, originally drawn as a white dude, now it's a Pakistani, but hey, I'm not, a, I'm not here to say, oh, brown gate or brown, brown washing, because I'm brown. He's like a crooked scientist, and he's like, oh, I want these for myself. I want to, you know, find the cure for cancer. I want to do this, but it's like, it's kind of on the verge of like, he's not really trying to cure cancer, he just wants the notoriety for curing cancer, and that's his main, like, thing. So, uh, and, and, like, he's testing on humans, it's super crooked, so then they, they ask Eddie Brock, played by Tom Hardy, to, uh, ask, ask him just normal questions about, like, uh, his planes, his ships, his rockets, or whatever. But then he's like, you know what, I have a scoop on him, my girlfriend, or fiancé, is a lawyer, and she has all these... Sabina's and all these things about Carlton Drake and all these uh, cases against him. So I'm gonna bring that up. He brings it up and he gets fucked. Basically, the interview is canceled. Uh, they both get fired from their jobs and then all hell breaks loose. And then, um, you know, push comes to shove. Uh, something happens, you know, he, he and a friend that works at the. Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember what it was called. They break in. He gets the venom, blah, blah, blah. Now it's venom. Woo! Uh, and my first script for this movie is the CGI. Uh, for being 2018, you'd think it'd be more advanced, but it, it it's just, it looks so, uh, sketchy. I mean, like, the first time, oh, well, what doesn't help it is that there's a lot of close, up close, very well lit scenes of Venom, which don't really help its case. There are certain parts where it's, he's in the shadows and it's dark and stuff and it looks really good. But there's also a lot of scenes where he's like up close with the guy and he's like salivating all over the bad guy. And like the saliva, like the saliva mechanics and physics look really bad. And, and like just the symbiote, like when he's full on Venom is super like, you know, weight, it looks really weightless. The same gripe I had with Black Panther is that like especially in the end scene where they're all they're both fighting uh, both Venom and Riot are fighting it just looks really silly 
because of how weightless they feel. Not even that, but the symbiotes itself, when they're like off the body, it looks just, it looks like weird, like melted uh, chocolate. It doesn't look like a, like a, it just looks like melted, it looked delicious a little bit. Like, mm, I would, I wouldn't mind tasting a bit of this venom. <laughs> but uh, this is a character, uh, character movie, you know, Tom Hardy is playing an American. And I don't know, his, his American accent is good, it's just I prefer his British accent because he looks sound, he sounds more badass as a British person, but it, it's okay. One of my biggest, one of the biggest uh, pluses of this movie is just the relationship and you know between Tom Hardy and Venom, like the symbiote, uh, when they're having these fun little inner dialogues with each other like, Go eat him! Or it's like, no, we do not eat, we do not eat good people! And it, it was a bunch of fun, it was really funny. Uh, I didn't, you know, like it in the beginning when I first watched it in the theaters because I was, uh, again, depressed. So I wasn't really susceptible to, like, comedy and stuff. There's this one scene where, like, where he takes, he, he's a full-on Venom, but then he goes to his girlfriend that broke up with him, her fiancé, and she has a new boyfriend, and he's a uh, surgeon, and they're doing an MRI, and he flips out and freaks out and stuff. Oh, also that scene where, um, well, this is where the CGI looks really bad. It's like, uh, the scene where he, uh, he, uh, scares his next door neighbor because he's playing loud music. And it's like, rah! And it looks so awful. <laughs> it looks, like, I understand, like, this is like a modern movie, but it just looks weird. I don't know. It looks very, it looks like a, it looks like a Sony Pictures movie. I don't know, like, you're not gonna get good cinematography, you're not gonna get these wide open shots where you're like, whoa, wow, ooh, so nice. Like I have been with a lot of other movies I've been watching. But, uh, I mean, it does a job. It's, it's a popcorn flick. It's, it's nothing to go right home about, but it is, it's like an hour and 45. I looked at the timing on the, the internet and it said two and a half, two and a half hours. I'm like, eh, it's not that long. Maybe there's an extended cut I'm missing, but, uh, I just got the one on Blu-ray. So going back to what I was saying, there's a scene where, you know, he's forced out of the symbiote suit because she turns up the MRI dial. And it's like, because this is after he finds out the symbiote is actually eating Eddie alive. And he's like, how could you do this to me? I thought we were friends. I thought we were supposed to be we. But you're killing me. And I was dying laughing because of how... It's such a stupid idea. It's like he's talking to like a blob of like melted chocolate. It's like, wow, I thought we were friends. And it was just so stupid. But I mean, it's a, it's a... It's... My also, another favorite thing was the Venom puppy. Puppy Venom was absolutely adorable. And I thought he killed the puppy at first, but no. Apparently puppies are good hosts for uh... What was it, like a Chihuahua, a Pomeranian? I have no idea, but puppies are good hosts for uh, Venom, so there you go, for symbiotes. This movie could have done so much better if it was an R rating. It is PG-13. There are kills. It is off-screen. There are people getting stabbed, but you don't really see it. Like, there's one scene where, where a riot stabs, like, a scientist through the chest and then throws him away. And I was looking at the body, and it looked completely fine. So I'm like, come on, dude. If it had an R rating, it would have stepped it to the next level. Because, you know, it's Venom. What do you want? Venom to be like a bad... Like, they had so much liberty with Deadpool. And although Deadpool is more of a comedy movie, there's, there's a lot of comedy in this movie. You know? So if you're going to have that, at least have the brutal kills. Because that's what Venom is known for. Eating people alive. That's what he is known for. So why not display it fully in the movie? It's just, it, I, it wanted to have most of the viewership and stuff. So, I mean, I you know, cheers to him. But so far what I've known is it's not a part of the main, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe. So why not give more liberties to Venom and give it an R rating like Deadpool? But overall, the action scenes were really well done. The final fight scene was a bit, uh... Eh, but when it's just Venom versus like a bunch of soldiers or a bunch of policemen or the guards that come in in the first scene, it's really good. It's really well done. It shows how powerful Venom is against normal people or like just human beings just in general. Flinging them around, you know, punching them in the face and stuff like that. It's like really, really badass. Uh, one thing I found weird was that when he first has Venom, he goes to his apartment, he chills out and stuff. And then the guards come to attack him. 
he runs away in like his uh, his bike, and I'm like, what? Even th even though I'll give credit, there are certain times where you know there are assets to where he has venom and he uses like his venom arm to like swing around something or to use a sh shield against those uh, those like drones. But I wish there was web slinging, you know? Uh, maybe I'm just too into Spider-Man. But like, isn't that what Venom does? Like, I remember in the uh, animated series, he's web slings. People thought it was actually Spider-Man. I would have liked more references to Spider-Man, you know, to MCU, because it takes place in um, they reference the Daily Planet, but they don't re reference Metropolis or. You know, they reference New York, but they don't talk about, like, Avengers or anything. I don't know. I, li I don't, just don't like when it's in... It's a Marvel movie, albeit, you know, so many pictures, but so is Spider-Man. Spider-Man references all that stuff. He's in the MCU. So it just feels like... It feels really weird because they're, you know, it feels like they're not even... They're just pretending that they don't even exist. Those other characters, obviously have happened and all of that stuff. I believe this, this is the same year as Infinity War where no one's going to talk about all that stuff. So, I don't know. One weird thing, I, I haven't really fully researched this because I, I literally just watched the movie and I'm giving my impressions. But uh, the symbiotes are the same voice actor. At least they sound like them. And it was kind of weird when they're talking to each other. I thought it was just like, they're just talking about the same person just talking at each other. And it was kind of funny. But uh, except for the... Uh, the female symbiote, which was kind of hot, because it's a skin-tight symbiote, and you can see her, her breasticles. How come we didn't see the puppy transform, huh? Huh? I would have liked to see a Venom puppy, you know, with full-on black gear, black symbiote puppy just borking around. We didn't get that. That's my main gripe with the movie. Why don't we get a full-on feature film of Venom puppy? <laughs> But besides that, it wasn't as serious of a film as I thought it was going to be going in because I had really super duper high hopes. Tom Hardy is one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite actors and Venom is one of my favorite like villains. So I thought this was going to be the most brutal fucking like killing, slaughtering, eating people alive movie. And then when I watched it, it was kind of like Guardians of the Ga- it, it was giving me Guardians of the Galaxy vibes. And I'm like, what? Why is there so much humor? Why is there, like, shying away from, you know, like, brutal killing and eating and stuff like that? Again, the performance of Tom Hardy, I've, I've, I don't know why I haven't commented on this, I just commented on the movie, is really good. Sometimes he sounds a bit weird because, you know, I, I'm not used to him in an American accent. He sounds weird, I don't know. I'm used to him with a th super thick British accent. That's the way I like my Tom Hardy. When he first is uh, into Venom... He acts like a crackhead. He's like, I need to get, I need to get, I need water. I need, I need food. And like, he sounds like a crackhead. So that's why no one believes him. But I guess if you've just, you know, eaten like three people, you would act crazy like that. Um, uh, spoilers. I don't know. It's a four-year-old, three-year-old movie. Uh, Carnage is introduced. And it was, I was, I remember laughing in the theater because I'm like, Woody Harrelson? That's Carnage? And he has this big, like, red Jufro, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on with this movie? But this was a fun movie. Would I watch it again? Probably. You know, when uh, Let There Be Carnage or There Will Be Carnage, whenever that comes out, I'll probably watch it again. It was a fun watch. I would give this uh, a, uh, ooh, I really want to say 6.5. There is rewatchability to this because it is a fast-paced movie. Uh, Comedy is really good. Action is really good. Um, acting is really good from Tom Hardy's part. There's not too many subplots. There's not too many characters that, you know, get in the way of things. I would say, yeah, I like 6.5. 6.5 is a good rating for this movie. Uh, a lot of lost potential. Just make it R. And if you're not going to make it an R rating, at least have implications of you know being in the marvel cinematic universe because if it's not like if this next carnage movie isn't gonna at least feature spider-man or talk about spider-man or maybe the third movie or there's a cameo at least something like that then i'm gonna be pissed the fuck off because that would have been such a wasted opportunity having fucking tom hardy one of the best actors today of uh, freaking out man anyways this has been another movie night 
hoping Let There Be Carnage will be better than this. This is a good opening for a series. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Have a good night, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Uh, whenever you're watching this, stay blessed, stay safe, and um, God bless. <laughs>